Hello, everybody. Welcome to where doom awaits in the nothing, uh, the Nathan and Justin. I said I was going to say Nustin. I mean, that could be our celebrity name, but Nustin, our our couple name. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, calling forth the old ones. As you approach Sentinel Hill, you hear ancient Latin rise bellowed across the night. The time for action has come. If you cannot stop the sorcerers in Dunwich, who knows what terrors there might unleash upon the world. There is three Doom in play of the 12 for this one because of the brood that escaped. Uh, when the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them in advance. We need four. We are at the base okay. of the hill. It's connected to each copy of Diverging Path. Of note, the ones on the left over here are not in play, just for reference. Okay. Uh, as an action, you can investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, put a random set-aside diverging path into play. As an action, you can also resign. Uh, the path leading further up the hill is masked. We cannot move into ascending path. Uh, in addition, there also is a conglomeration of sp spears here who's hanging out because we killed... Uh, um, we killed uh, Silas Bishop. Nathan, do you want to go first? I'm drinking some water, so you can go. Yeah, oh, sure. sorry, I have a tarot card as well. Oh, play your tarot card. All right. Um... All right. One, two, three. Zebulon. Hey, Zeb. Then, let's see. Let's move up to here. No, we can't go up there. Just kidding. As Sorry. an action, you can investigate, and if you succeed, Sorry, you put you okay. uh, location into play. I misunderstood. Uh, okay, in that case. Bloop. And then we'll investigate. What's the shroud? Three. Um, one second. I'm just looking at this. If this is... I think this is... I think you have to investigate with the action on this card okay. to do that. Okay, alright. That's fair. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Three, right? It's three, yeah. Fast. Nice. Are you playing it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go in your hand slot. It'll cost a resource. Yeah, thank you. So five minus two is enough to put a clue, uh, diverging path into play. So these are all connected. So basically each row is connected to one another. Uh, these locations might not be connected to each other, but they're but all going to be connected, connected to the base somehow. of the hill. Okay. All right, you have one action left. Would you like to move into here? Yeah, let's. All right, you are in the Frozen Spring. After you reveal Frozen Spring, lose the remainder of your actions and immediately end your turn. Okay. Fair enough. All right, actions one and one. I'm going to play Randall Cho to search for some boxing gloves. Oh, brother, you came in and saved me at the exact time that I needed you. Because frickin' Tommy Mal Malloy was on top of my deck. Ah. All right, um, so we'll shuffle. I have two actions left. This guy, do I want him to come and fight me? Uh, we're going to draw a card for action two. We'll draw a card for action three. All right, enemy phase. Hello, conglomeration of spheres. You can ding my brother for one horror and me for one meat. Uh, cards and resources, Nathan? Bonk. Hmm. And then we go to four doom. And what's your evil card? Ooh, it's a lupine thrall. Farthest from me. You can spawn up on the top of the hill. Huh, alright. And then I get a vortex of time. Each investigator is Sentinel Hill location tests brain four if you fail. So you are not at a Sentinel Hill location, so this is just me. Um, take two meat. I'll just go. I was gonna fail. I just I'll take the two damage. Okay, I'm up. What does this dog have? He has three health. That's a perfect mono a mono kill. You'll get a punch me though. Okay. Uh, action number one. 
we're going to attack this guy. With, uh, we'll, we'll clean him out. We'll see what's in his pocket. What's going Bilbo, the ring is still in your pocket. So we'll gain two resources and attack this guy at uh, seven to one. What's the skull? Minus one, minus three, draw an alt location. All right, so he's going to take two damage. Um, let's uh, punch him. Just normally, so we'll just punch. So go. We'll take one more, and then we'll just punch again. He'll take one more. All right, Nathan, you're up. Sounds good. I. Field work going. Nice. Then I'm gonna investigate. Don't fail for that one. Wow. Okay, that's fun. All right. Cool. 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 Um. Uh, it's pretty. It's nice here. It's 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 chill. Yeah, you got a clue. All right, those are right. our actions for the turn. Enemy phase. This guy's coming down. That's a bit spooky, but we'll be fine. Cards and resources. We're at five doom. Nathan, what's your evil card? Wright's Howl. Discard the top three cards of each investigator's deck. Excuse me, each investigator at an altered location shuffles each weakness in his or her card discard. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Fuck my whole deck. Uh, neither of us are at altered locations. Alright, cool. My that evil card is Vortex of Time. Again. All right, we'll go five to four. Um, I'll go, yeah, five to, we'll go six to four. Uh, yes, I just don't want to take more damage. All right, we're three to four. Oh, this game is just, it's really mean. Yeah, it's really kicking our bums. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not being kind. All right, I'm going to fight this guy. Oh. Good luck. I can return oh. an event from my discard pile to my hand. That is nice. We'll grab Counterpunch. Counterpunch. And we'll defeat this guy, though. I will right, we'll search the top nine cards in my deck for something. Close enough. Oh my god. It. So we're gonna go with uh, glory. Uh, so that was action one. Action two, we're gonna draw a card. And action three, I'm gonna play Dr. Francis Morgan. Ooh, you're buzzing really hard. Am I? Yeah. One second. Much better. Okay, um, Nathan. Hi. You may go. Thank you. All right. Well, I. No, 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 no. All right, I'm just going to burn some Midnight Oil. Nice, so you are five to three. And, and yeah. It's yours. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to come back here and say, hey, what's up? Would you like to do the investigate action with your investigate ability? Yes. yes. You're five to three again. You're good, another location. Boom. 
Uh, you have one action left. Do you want to walk in here? Or you want to wait till I next mean, yeah. turn to get your uh, bonus? Uh, yeah, I'll little... wait till next turn to get my... Yeah. <laughs> um, no, these locations kind of can trick you. Some like will remove actions, some care many actions you have, but it's hard to know without going into them, so I, I think it's a wise move. Yeah. That's if you have one action left. Yeah. Um, let's grab a resource. Cool. All right, this and Lupine Thrall is going to come here and attack me. Um, before he attacks, I'm going to play Counterpunch. So, play when an enemy attacks you before resolving that attack. This targets the attacking enemy. So, fight. I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 versus his 4. He will take 1, 2, 3 damage, and I will defeat him. I will use this moment to draw 2 cards. Uh, and then we get cards and resources for the turn. All right, that was nice. I feel good about that one. I feel less good about that, but no, this isn't a terrible a little bit stuff. Yeah. All right, Nathan, what's your... Oh, everything sucks. <laughs> uh, what's your evil card for the turn? It is... Nope. Crazed Shogoth. Nearest altered location. There are no altered locations, so he just gets discarded with no effect. Ah, all right. Hey. Who needs him? I'm frozen in fear. You gotta stop that. I will. Here, Nathan, let me go into this location first. Okay. Oh, I'll draw a card off Dr. Francis Morgan as well. Hey, it's Tommy Malloy. Just kidding. I'm actually gonna fight Tommy Malloy. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, but what can you do? Uh, so I only have two actions to fight him. So we're just going to punch. Dang. He doesn't have retaliate, so we'll just go again. Yeah, he'll take one damage. Uh, we'll test this Frozen and three at Fear at 5 to 3. We'll get rid of the Frozen and Fear and we'll draw a card. Okay, Nathan, you are good to take your actions. Right. Well then, let's go into this diverging path. After you reveal a destroyed path, place <laughs> player doom on it. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, remove one doom from destroyed path. All right. Well, yeah, that's good to do. Uh, there's no clues, though, to use your field work, doesn't though. doesn't count? Okay. All right. Or at least one clue. Right. Blah. I know that. I know how this works. Five to so three. Good five luck, to Nathan. Three. Pa pow Take one damage and one horror. No, wait. Sorry. That's if I... Yeah, never mind. We're good. Or no, reveal? No, you reveal. Yeah, you revealed reveal. one. Reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop. Dude, we're going to fucking lose. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, you have two actions left, though. You could still yeah. just try to... No, though, that stays. <laughs> that stays. No. I'm two actions oh, that I can get. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, enemy yeah, phase. Yeah, I'm just going to sit and think about what I just did. Um, cards and resources. And then, Nathan, what's your evil card for the turn? God damn it. Crypt Chill. Test head four. If you fail, discard one asset you control. Cool. Uh... <laughs> oh, he gives me plus one head. <laughs> yeah, you're four all. I... Oh, God. Ha! Yes. You succeeded. And I can move to a connecting location. I don't think I'm going to, though. Because right. we need to get rid of these doom counters, right? Yeah, it would be good. Can't play assets or events. Sure, not a problem. All right, I'm just going to punch this guy. Punch number one, he'll take a big old punch. Punch number two, he'll go down like a sack of bricks. Uh, we'll look at the top nine cards. That's such an awesome card. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. Or like ability. Right, we want the one-two punch. Two, three, four, five, six. 
eight. Um, for my last action, I would just love to like heal. Uh, I can't do much right now. I just need, you need to get rid of those doom and then get some clues. So I'm just gonna gain a resource for my last action because I don't wanna just discard a card. Good. Okay. All right, what do you got, Nathan? All right, I guess I'm going to... Did we already do a full round? Since... Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Uh, I'm going to double-check what this card does. Stop doing that. Sorry. Uh... Uh, yeah, let's throw that down to get an extra one. All right, five, six three. to three. Six to three. Uh, reveal another token, is... cancel the effects okay. and icons of each skill card coming to this test. So that is a fail. Good God. Fine. Let's try again. All right, you've done it. Thank God. One action left. Uh, first, I'm just gonna go in dry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you even and get now a move. I, yeah, you even get a yeah. move. Nice. All right, cards and resources. Wrong button. There you go. We are at eight of twelve. And Nathan, what's your evil card when you're good? My evil card is Vortex of Time. Dude, this is gonna fucking kill me. Head four. Uh, actually, you know what, Nathan? Let me handle this. Okay. I mean, bo don't both of us have to do it? Uh, no, because it's just... Oh, it is each investigator. Yeah. Oh, f fuck. All right, I'm going to do a take the initiative for my test. So I am seven to four. Dude! Three. I'll take two damage. Four. We'll go to one. Actually, we'll just go like this. Four to four. Good luck. Thank you. Nope. So how much damage do I take? Two damage. Oh, that's fine. That's nothing. I can All heal right. that. And then my evil card is... Oh, Rotting Remains. Uh, three all. Alright, we'll take three horror. Why do I expect anything else than just drawing minus fours in this freaking game? All right, Nathan, uh, you got to get another location. I can't help much with that. Yeah. Excuse me. All right. All right, you got it. Yep. Yep, yep. And then... Nice. After the, you reveal yeah. Eerie Glade, discard the top two cards of your deck for each action you have remaining, so that's four cards. Damn it. Oh. Game chugged up there for a second. Yeah, right. it's been doing that more. Uh, you get to investigate, though, at five yes. to four. At six to four. Uh, seven to four, sorry. That clue's yours. Nice. And you have one action remaining. Yes. Uh, I'll just do it. Normal. Oh. Yeah. Minus three. Boo. Okay. All right. Hmm. What do I do here?
I'm going to come in here and gain two resources. Cards and resources. All right. I'll discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I won't discard a card. Okay. Can I get something I actually want to? God damn it. All right. I'm going to play a first watch and look at the top two cards and divvy them out as I see fit. Surge. All right, well, I'll take the enemy. Unfortunately, you have to get the Surge card, so you'll have to draw another card. All right. All right. Ancient Evils. One Doom. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh, Nathan, why don't you go first? Okay. So you'll discard a card. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to investigate, I can help you with some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to investigate. Sick. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> what can you do, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to play that to do it again. Nice. To succeed that time. All right, we have to immediately spend all of our clues, so spend all four yes. of them. Uh, during your search through the wooded paths around the base of Sentinel Hill, you come across a startling sight. A herd of sheep lays dead upon the ground in a secluded clearing. Their bloodied carcasses placed in a strange but careful pattern. Holding your nose against the stench of death, you step over mangled sheep on your way to the center of the odd formation. In the center of the sheep lies the corpse of a man... A clear jewel has been firmly pressed into his forehead, caving in the front of his skull. His eyes are wide, his face contorted in, in a vision of fear, as if beseeching you for mercy. Though you know better, you check for a pulse. As you touch the man's skin, the jewel in his forehead dissolves, and the woods around you seems to clear. The arcane presence masking the path further up the hill has faded. Reveal the ascending path. Uh, same sort of thing. And then we remove all clues from all locations. Uh, do you have an Still action left? Have, I think so. Yeah, you do. You do. One. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Go Sick. Back there. All right. Well, I want to save some of this stuff for a boss, so we're gonna go mono a mono against this guy. And then we're just gonna like yeah, ta so that deals three damage. Uh, and then we're just going to monster slay this guy. So we're going to attack at 5, 6, 7, 8 to his 4. Ooh, that is incredible. Uh, we're going to grab a counter punch back. So he will die and go into the victory display. So that was action 1 and action 2. We're going to look at the top 9 cards in my deck. For a spirit and put it into my hand. I'm gonna grab a mono a mono, I think. Did I just spend a mono a mono? Do I have three in my deck? Why do I have three mono a monos in my deck? Because <laughs> you're special. It's because I made a mistake, I guess, somewhere in deck building. That's really that's what I get for building my deck in tabletop simulator. Alright, so one, two, three, four, eight, nine. We'll go with a one-two punch. I have to get ready for boss mode, and we gotta rush through this to hopefully get there soon. Um, I'll draw a card with Dr. Francis Morgan, and then I'm gonna move in here for my last action. Uh, cards and resources. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, again, I have a first watch, so I will look at these cards and divvy them there out. We there we go. All right, well, I'm going to be giving you Beyond the Veil because I only have eight cards left and you have 17. I think it's unlikely you'll get there. Unfortunately, we each also have to discard the top three cards of our deck. So. Cool. Cool. I just need you to get me to the top of the mountain.
Cool. Yeah. And then you get one more card because of Surge. Oh my god. We're on the same location. Here, Nathan, let me handle that. Okay. I, yeah, please. So I am at, I'm at five all. So I'll discard four cards. That's okay because I was expecting to get through this deck anyway. Ooh, a Kleptomania is my last card, huh? Sure. All right, Nathan. All um, right. You're up. We just got to get up to the top of the hill. We just got to do that. Minus one. Oh, wait. Need to move first. Haha. -ha. Already flipped that over. Yeah. Uh, it's the three. investigate action. Yeah, I'm good. Cool. Are you going to move in there for action two? Yeah. Uh, after you reveal after you reveal it, you take one horror for each action you have remaining. So you'll take one horror. One. I remember Zebha is four, so. Oh, he still has four. Yeah. All right. And then I investigate still, right? Yes. Yeah, that's just when it got played. It didn't cancel anything. So yeah, you I'm have one action left to, to investigate. So you can investigate at five to two. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Nice job. Sick. All right. All right, my actions are going to be one, two, and then I, uh, I'm just going to gain a resource. Uh, cards and resources for the turn. Oh, my God, a kleptomania. <laughs> Doom advances. Okay. Calling forth the old ones. As you explore the path surrounding Sentinel Hill, the chanting at the hilltop rises to a crescendo and that takes an otherworldly quality reverberating through the trees as if carried by unseen currents. The world begins to change. The grass and trees dissolve like sugar in a cup of tea. A vast endless sky slices through the reality you see before you and you feel drawn to it terrified and awestruck. The arcane power becomes distorted and seeps around you, creating strange alterations in the land. Shuffle the encounter pile and the discard together. Uh, beckoning for power. Oh, it's just a bunch of the old ones, where the old ones are and the old ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but in the spaces between them. All that fun stuff. Ten do do. Yeah, Nathan. the usual. We have ten Sorry? turns. Ten turns, okay. Not accounting any ancient evils that might show up. So what's your card? My card... The evil card. Is... My hand is nowhere near my mouse. Oh, that's fine. Distant voices. That's nothing. That's nothing. A vortex in time. Neither of us are a Sentinel Hill location, so we don't need to worry about that. Because we're in lost memories. Okay, Nathan, I'm going to go first, if that's all right with you. Please do. I'm going to start by drawing a card, which is going to deal me one horror, and I shuffle my entire... deck together. Uh, action number two is I am going to steal two resources from you. Okay. Please do. I have a lot. Uh, then I'm not I getting... shuffle Kleptomania into my deck. Uh, and then action number three, I'm going to go hang out over here. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Sounds good. Uh, there's still one clue on there, correct? Yeah. Spectacular. And it's two? Uh, did you discard a card from your hand at the start of your turn? I did not, no. Thank you. Oops. Not what I was hoping for. That's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to investigate. Nice. Five to two. That's pretty good. Mm, well. Six to two. I would like to look through my... Hey, look at that. There nice. we go. All right, we only need two more clues, and then we can go to the top of the hill. Oh, heck yeah. All 
All right. I believe you have two actions left. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm going to get rid of obsessive. All right. Uh, cards and resources. I don't want to deal with that shit. Nathan, what's your card? <sighs> oh, it's a big Avian scary bird. Thrall. Lowest book. Uh, he'll go with you first, though. He'll engage you first. Yeah. Uh, when you enter the attack, this guy's location or vice versa, he gets one. We take one horror. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go first. I believe action number one is going to be move into this your location. Well, this is gone. I'll take a horror. Yeah. Down to one. Uh, I'm gonna take avian thrall for action two, and then I'm gonna do a one-two punch against him. So, plus one for this attack. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine to his five. He will take uh, one damage. So two damage, I think, in total. So one damage on the first one. And then the second one would be three damage. So let's go again. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, let's look at the top nine cards of our deck. Out of glory. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those are my actions. Nathan, you're up. All right. So I am going to do some stuff. Alt, work, thank you. Sorry, one sec, I'm just... Perfect. So I'm going to move into here. Nice. Would you like to investigate? I'm going to pay for... Uh, there's no clues in oh, wait, place. No, this, cause this is, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we both, you know, got yeah. that at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I'm going to pay three to bring out Jake. Cool. Come help uh, me. Did you want to take your free investigate action after moving as well? Yes, that's a very good idea. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, I played Jake. So now you have Jake. You have one action remaining. I'm going to move. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> after you reveal dimensional gap, discard the cards um, for until an enemy is discarded and then spawn them there. It's the Wizard of yogg -Soth -Oth. The wonderful Wizard of yogg -Soth -Oth? N not No? Yeah, he's, okay. he, no, he's not too wonderful. <laughs> uh, he's going to attack you for one meat and two brain. Sick. That's fun. Wait. No. Oh, fuck. That's how you do that. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, and then we each get cards and resources. Tommy fucking Malloy. Oh my god! Alright. Uh, Nathan could just run away from this guy. Uh, Nathan, what's your evil card for the turn? It is... Spaces Between. Uh, Oh, good. Removing all clues from it. Interesting. And then I got Crypt Chill, Test Brain 4. That's deeply annoying. 
Yes. Inter a cool card, though. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to just punch Tommy a bunch. I have five, six, seven, eight. Discard the top two. Minus zero. Okay. He'll take one. Discard the top two. Minus one. He'll take two. He's dead. All right, Nathan, you're good to go. Okay. I'm going to search for this last location. Uh, this guy will attack you. You'll need to evade him first. Oh, no, because you have uh, Jake yeah. Williams. You can investigate no. uh, for free. It's a fail. Not going to, but I could. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I need to scooch around him. Yes. So you're at four to three. Just four to three. All right. Nice. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to search for another. Here, have location. two book. Have two book. Oh, thank you. You're good. Yeah, because I suppose, you know, this location won't spawn an enemy. Yes, and it will have clues on it, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Uh, cards and resources. Ugh, excuse me. Eight. We are at three of ten. What's your evil card, Nathan? Obscuring Fog. Dude, honestly, that's probably one of the best cards you could have drawn right now. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing. Uh, there's a vortex in time. Each investigator is sent in a whole location must test brain four. I'm going to take the initiative and go six to four. Six to four. Four. That is, thank God, I nearly cheered. <laughs> Six to four as well. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, Nathan, why don't you go try to grab some clues? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to zoom over here. Take two damage if you have no actions remaining. You have well, two, three, you have two actions remaining. Would you like to... Uh, investigate for free. Research? Yeah. Yeah. I would love to. Four, five, six, seven. Minus one. You got a clue? You only need one more. Nice. Got well, it. Well, next turn we can move up the path. Yep. All right. Um, I am going to just kill this man. Mano a mano. Oh, wait, did I draw a hex or a pact last turn? I did, so he attacked me. So then I actually would have played this counterpunch instead. Uh, he would have been dead. So I would have law. I don't have my one of these counterpunches, but I still have my mono a mono. Uh, we are going to search. We'll grab Monster Slayer. And then I'll draw a card with Dr. Francis. This is all during the one yeah. those phase. Okay. Get rid of this. Uh, for my three actions, I'm going to draw a card, draw a card, and then draw a card. We're looking for my bro. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, cards and resources. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we are at four of ten. Nathan, what's your evil card? Devotee of the key. Spawns at the base of the hill. Oh my god. Cool. Mine is the space between. Nathan, you just got a free move, baby. Yeah. And those ones, they're already random. We don't need to do that again. Okay. Uh, can I move into the location first? 
By all means. Can I spend your four clues to do so? Please do. Nice. All right. Uh, approaching the peak of Sentinel Hill, you're confronted by several citizens of Dunwich. The man in the center of their circle lets out a crazed laugh. You recognize the old man, Seth Bishop, from the description given to you by the townsfolk earlier. Behind him, several other men and women bow their heads in reverence, chanting Lantern. We've done it, he cackles. We've accomplished what old Waitley in, in his git couldn't. You watch in revulsion as his eyes glaze over and twitch as though you were reading, as he was reading something invisible. I can see now. I can finally see. He raises his hands to the sky and the headstone of the altar behind him splits open. A torrent of energy pours out of the stone, coalescing into the form of an open gate. Seth holds onto the stone in front of him to prevent himself from being sucked into the gate, but several of the others are startled and pulled through it. You barely manage to dig your heels in and grab hold of the nearby rock to resist the pull of the gate. Seth rises to his feet wearing an expression of pride. Seth Bishop. Here he is. Um, oh, he looks crazy. And then we need to get four clues. Only investigators at the Central Peak may spend the requisite number of clues to advance. So I'm going to keep this guy busy. He has six Sounds health. Good. And then you just have to get clues. Four is a lot, though, but I believe. All right, we're going to, our first action is we're going to do a one-two punch against this guy. Uh, and we're going to commit two vicious, we're going to commit a vicious blow to it, just one. So, we have one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten to five. That is good. So he's going to take two damage from that attack. I think it's three, actually, but I don't know for sure. Um, then we're going to be able to make an extra attack at 11, at 10 to 5 again. Plus one. He's going to take one, two, and then three from my ability. He's down to one. For my last action, I'm just going to punch this fucker normally right in the fucking jaw. At five, six, seven, eight to five. He's dead. Can you imagine that? Having this ritual, everything's going perfect. And then a man comes in with two boxing gloves <laughs> just punches you to death. and just punches you to fucking death. Okay. All right, Nathan, come on in. It's yours. I'm going to move. I'm going to tell Jake goodbye. Thanks oh, for coming. Oh, you're free to investigate if you wanted to use that before oh. then too. Oof. Oh, don't forget you also have field work as well. Yeah. Which would have put you up to five. So six, seven, minus three is four. You would have got a clue. Sick. Okay, Jake can leave now. Yep. And then I'm going to spend more to bring Dr. Christopher Milan, he's here. in to help us out here. Uh, you have one action remaining. And guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Investigate. No, I'm going to end my turn. No. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pop Eureka out as Here, well. Here, take this as well. Oh. I have. Oh, I put in your hand. The monster slayer that's one in your hand, I committed that. So you have four, five, six, seven, eight, minus three is five. You'll gain a clue off your location. All right. Two more clues. Uh, I can give you two book if you want to investigate. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We get cards and resources, though. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, right, yeah, you went first. I knew that. Thank God. God damn it. It's back. <laughs> Honestly, you just tank it, right? Choose a location and then be like, hey. Uh, Nathan, what's your evil card? It is... Conglomeration oh, of Spheres. All right, well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ancient evils. Oh, God. Okay. You think you can get two clues this turn? I think so. I'm pretty sure I can, yeah. All right. Action number one is we're going to play <sighs> Randall Cho. Thank you for all your work, Dr. Francis Morgan, but I need brain. Uh, I'm going to heal three health as well, three damage. Oh my god, I'm feeling infinitely better. Um, action two. 
We're going to engage this ball of spheres and then attack him for five, six, seven, eight to one. He'll take three damage. Go for it, Nathan. Oh, whoops. Put that away. Okay. Um, oh, and I didn't search three cards. Oh, yeah. Go for that. Convenient. Alright, that's the only one that'll help me at all in this. Oop. Okay. Um... Just gonna add uh, one to my four, five, six, seven, eight, because, you know, why not overpower it? No, nah, you wanna I... be up at least five if you really wanna pass. And then I'm going to add two more for this next check. Nice. Okay. We've done it. Um, and I'm going to take two horror because I did not do a, something somewhere. Oh, we, we can spend the four clues to get through if you would like. Uh, yeah. Sick. The gate opens. You don't know how to close the swirling gate before you, and with each passing moment, the force from within, it grows in strength. You fear that whatever entity the sorcerers have summoned from beyond approaches. With no time to spare, you turn to the open tome on the stone altar, desperate for answers. Resolution 1. The poorly bound tome appears to be the written records of the old Watley, the man who taught Wilbur the ancient secrets of sorcery. You find a passage describing a place outside of time and space where worlds converge and Yog sothoth dwells. Only by reaching this nexus at the edge of reality can you unmake the terror that has split the world, open the world. Feeling as if you may be going to your doom, you muster a final ounce of courage and step into the gate. In your campaign log, record that the investigators entered the gate and we gain victory X. Which I believe is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Nice. We did it. I honestly, because this one actually has a uh, campaign elimination. If you don't win this one, you lose the game. Oh, wow. So I was okay. a bit worried. I was like, I think we might be boned. But Oh, thank God. We got through it. We got through it. And we have one left, which is either... It's, well, it's the final one, so it ends the story if we win or lose. So Exciting. Dude, you were only six steps away from death, huh? Yes. Yes, I was. Super spicy. All right, well, everyone watching at home, we'll see you guys for the next episode uh, where uh, we may or may not go face-to-face -face with Yogg-Sothoth himself. See you later.